Here on Sunrise Weekends, we like to combine food with thoughtful conversation. So this week, I caught up with Senator Maisie Hirono on at Kapahale in Kahala. Chef owner Keaka Lee is a semi-finalist for a prestigious James Beard Culinary Award. <laughs> Good to see you in one of these wonderful local businesses yes. that are being honored across the country. I love it. Local boy, born and raised in Honolulu, known for using local produce, celebrating our farmers. Like this. Exactly. How important is it to support our local oh, very businesses good. and agriculture, our farmers? That's a big yes. priority as well. And um, in fact, I, I'm a big proponent of supporting our ag. Food sustainability is something that a lot more people are getting onto because we import most of our food and why not support our farmers? And as we deal with the farm bill this year, it's going to be really important to support our um, um, specialty crop people. Everything we grow in Hawaii are considered specialty crops because we're not the big crops that the, you get all the subsidies, we're not the soybeans cotton and all that, but all of this is specialty. They deserve our support. We wanted to get to the meat of our conversation, and that is our military presence here. You are, of course, the Armed Services uh, Committee Chair. Uh, and of course, I, you know, we always have to ask, what are we doing again uh, to address the Red Hill concerns? That's always top of mind. Oh, yes, definitely. And yes. the readiness subcommittee, which I am chairing this year, uh, is, a, is a part of that, it's part of the kuleana of the committee. And so as uh, I have been doing since the beginning of this whole crisis, I will make sure that we defuel safely and that we monitor the ground to make sure that there's no contamination. It's gonna be a lot of money, hundreds of millions of dollars going into making sure this happens. So that's just one thing. And part of the readiness is we have a lot of infrastructure issues in Hawaii Remember, so Red Hill is one, and then you had a um, water main break at Tripler, had to close the hospital for a day. Then we had electrical outlet issues, and so that's what I call foundational infrastructure, what goes through our pipes and what goes through our lines. I will be spending time making sure that our infrastructure is um, kept up, which, which it is not not just in Hawaii, but across the country. And so many of our families that are in the military or military adjacent talk about how the housing and the structure oh, Yes, and housing is infrastructure too. Yes. Although I have brought literally hundreds of millions of dollars in military construction to refurbish our housing and to put up more housing, all of that. But yes, I think upper, uppermost for me is you know, what are we doing to support our uh, people in the service, our service members and their families. And then the other thing that you were talking about is climate change uh, initiatives. The Department of Defense is the biggest user of fossil fuel in the entire country and I think the, practically the world, the single biggest department use, uh, user of fossil fuels. We need to uh, get away from our reliance on fossil fuel and the Department of Defense is well aware that they are contributing to global warming, et cetera. And so I have been pushing for things such as they should electrify all their non-combat vehicles by 2035, and then we want to get to the combat vehicles. Uh, and there are so many other things that they can do to pay attention to climate change, making sure that our uh, structures and our facilities are climate resilient. We should not be building things where you know there's going to be ocean rise, sea rise issues and all of that. So there is an awareness on the part of the military that global warming is real and that it has international ramifications. Climate change can result in instability in the world as other nations have um, challenges in growing food and all of, all of those things and that is going to have uh, ramifications on uh, global stability. So it is important for all of us. And thank you to Maisie Hirono there, Senator Maisie.